30 projects today. $1.8 million, 500,000 of which was recommended to the legislature by my administration and approved by the legislature as flood credits to communities that have been hit so hard by Irene and the floods that hit central Vermont in May and in April. And you know, no better example, we've got the team from Wellington. Uh, they've been through more hardship, as much hardship, I should say, uh, as all the other communities around the state. And when you see the right revitalization that's happening in Wellington, the fact that I'm going to be able to go back to docks and have a bowl of the best chili ever made anywhere in America, you know, and you see that happening from south to north, east to west, it's a testament to why these credits are so critically important for Vermont's future. Their story is similar to a lot of stories around here in Vermont. It's not just about return on investment. If you don't have a sincere desire to make your community better and to make this state better, that's why people do projects like this. And folks, trust me, it's not all dollars and cents. Nobody does it to go broke, don't get me wrong. But it's not just about return on investment. This is what is ensuring that we grow jobs and economic opportunities in our downtowns across Vermont. And there is no other state that is doing it like you are in the state of Vermont. Without the entrepreneurs in this room, the people who have the courage to make the investments, this building is as good an example, take the risk, uh, have the vision, respect our historic heritage, as well as this simple fact. We have made the progress we have from the floods and the fires and Brattleboro and other places for one simple reason. There is no people anywhere in America who have more ingenuity, more commitment to community and to each other. Vermonters reaching out to strangers, Vermonters taking care of neighbors than the spirit that we behold in this state. And that's why our downtowns, the Renaissance is happening right here in Barrie right now across the state, I believe is the greatest legacy that we're going to leave for jobs and quality of life to our kids and our grandkids while the rest of them are out building big boxes as fast as they can line them up.